Hi everyone. In this class, we are going to discuss about some common salts. They are bleaching powder, baking soda, washing soda, and plaster of Paris. Let us discuss one by one. First of all, let us discuss about bleaching powder. Its formula is CaOCl2. Bleach, bleaching powder is produced by the action of chlorine on dry slaked lime. The formula of slaked lime is CaOH taken twice. So here is the equation. So when calcium hydroxide that is slaked lime reacts with chlorine then we can find we can produce calc bleaching powder that is CaO Cl2. Let us try to know the uses of bleaching powder. So it is used for bleaching cotton and linen in the textile industries and, the, and also we use this bleaching powder to wash clothes in laundry. It is also used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries. It is also used for disinfecting drinking water to make it free of germs. That means to kill germs we add bleaching powder to the water. So we use this bleaching powder as a reagent in the preparation of chloroform. Chloroform is one of the chemical compound we use in laboratories and also some industries. Let us discuss about another salt, baking soda. The formula of baking soda is NaHCO3. Baking soda is sometimes added for faster cooking. It is prepared as follows. So here is the chemical equation which shows the preparation of baking soda. So here we have took sodium chloride, water, carbon dioxide and ammonia. Then we can get ammonium chloride and also baking soda that is NaHCO3. The following reaction takes place when baking soda is heated during cooking. So here is the chemical equation. 2NaHCO3 gives rise to Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide. That means basically in the preparation of uh, cakes or breads we add baking soda. That's why when baking soda is heated in the ovens, it releases carbon dioxide gas. This carbon dioxide gas makes the cake or bread spongy and soft. So this baking soda that is sodium hydrogen carbonate is also used as, used as a mild antiseptic. Let us learn about another salt that is washing soda and its formula is Na2CO3 10H2O that means each sodium carbonate molecule is attached with 10 water molecules. By heating baking soda we obtain sodium carbonate that means when we heat baking soda that is sodium hydrogen carbonate we can find sodium carbonate we use this in glass soap and paper industry it is used in the manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax 
borax is a chemical compound which we use for cleaning objects or uh, it is used basically in the laundries or somewhere like that it is used to clean the stains on the cloths it is used for removing permanent hardness of water so water has two types of hardness temporary and permanent hardness so to remove permanent hardness we use this washing soda let us learn about another common salt that is plaster of paris its formula is caso4 half h2o by heating gypsum at 373 kelvin we can prepare plaster of paris simply we call it as pop see the formula of gypsum is given here caso4 2h2o it is also called as calcium sulfate hemihydrate because each water molecule is attached with two calcium sulfate molecules that's why we call this plaster of paris as calcium sulfate hemihydrate so generally doctors use this as a plaster for supporting fractured bones when bones are fractured so this plaster of paris is used to make it normal plaster of paris is a white powder on mixing it with water it sets into hard solid mass due to formation of gypsum that means when this plaster of paris is mixed with water it will form a hard substance called gypsum here is the chemical equation which shows this so when calcium that means plaster of paris caso4 half h2o is mixed with one and half water molecule we can find gypsum that is caso4 2h2o 